Hello! For this video, I am going to be doing my step-by-step -step drawing process. Now, I'm not perfect at drawing by far. These are just some tips for if you're just starting out digital drawing and aren't quite sure where to start. I am using Photoshop and a Wacom Cintiq Pro tablet. In total, this drawing took an hour and 20 minutes. Let's get started! Now before I actually start drawing, I'll usually have an idea of what I want to draw. And if you're having trouble thinking of one, you could always look on different social medias to gain inspiration and also decide like what sort of category of thing do you want to draw? Like are you creating a new character? Are you going to draw fan art for an existing character or join a contest? There's endless possibilities of what you could draw. In this video, I'm drawing one of my original characters. Now for the drawing part. First, I'll start with a rough sketch layer. And usually with my sketch layers, I like to make it a light pink or blue or some sort of color just because it seems more fun and interesting. However, you could just do gray if you want, it doesn't really matter. Now, for this rough sketch, I'm just doing the basic idea, so I'm not worrying about making the lines nice or anything, I'm just trying to get down the pose and what I want. And for this part, I'll usually have a few references because I'm not that good at anatomy, and even if you are, like it's still really good to have some sort of reference to go off of. And this part can be as messy as you want. Next, I do another sketch layer, but this time it has more detail and I'll add things like clothes and I'll make it slightly cleaner. Now onto the line art. Now how I do line art is I'll usually make it a color that's not pitch black but more of a dark red or purple or blue depending on what the color theme of my drawing is going to be. And after more near the end I will be making the line art more colorful like adding different colors and I'll show you how to do that after. Now, when I do liner, I don't try making it exactly the same as my sketch layer because in order to do that, I have to work more slowly and be more precise. But that doesn't have the same clean, smooth line, just in my opinion. This does take a while because I'll often keep going back and redrawing the lines until I'm satisfied with them. Also keep in mind that the line art is on a different layer than the sketch layer. And the sketch layer, I have lowered the opacity so you can't see it as much. Now once you're done your line art and you're satisfied with how everything is going, you can start the coloring. And now what I do is I'll take the line art layer and I will duplicate it so there's two of them. And here I'm going to name it so it's more clear but the bottom one is going to be for the coloring and the top one is just the line art and you're gonna leave it and not really touching it or anything until later and the coloring is where you're going to add the color. Now for coloring. Since this is an original character I'm using the eyedropper tool to take 
the colors from this reference image and I just altered them slightly. Now what I'm doing is I'm using the paint bucket tool and I'm just clicking on each part that I want the color to be. And this is working because the layer that I have this on is also a line art layer. So it knows where the line art is and where to fill in. And although the paint bucket tool is very useful, you should still make sure to double check and get all of make sure all the space is covered because sometimes it doesn't fill in the whole space or there's a bit of an outline around the edge, especially a darker color. So the coloring is pretty easy and you can always change the color if you don't like it and just keep going over top of it. Now when I'm doing colors, I try to make them not so vibrant, like colorful, but not too saturated. So on the box where there's the colors, I usually stray away from these three corners and try to go more in the middle. Now for shading. Choose a color you want to start with. I'm doing the skin and using the magic wand tool, select all areas with that color. And then I'll take the skin tone and make a more saturated, warmer tone for the shadow. And I'll do this in a separate layer. Now make sure you decide where you want your light source to be. I'm really bad at this and it often varies, but usually I'll do one of the top corners. And you should use lots of references and even reference yourself or like take a photograph to figure out where the shadows should go. And then I might use the airbrush tool to soften some of the edges. However, I don't recommend you use this for the whole shading process. And if you're not a fan of cell shading, you could always just blend the colors a bit more with a blending tool. Now the hair's shading process is a bit different. Not only do I add shading where it should be darker, but I add some strands of hair to add more texture. I'll also add a darker, more saturated color for contrast. Next, I'll add highlights. Unlike the shading, I changed the color to a more orange and less pink color. And usually I'll add these in clumps and then I'll go back and change the shape a bit to clean it up. Once it's done, I duplicate the layer and add a Gaussian blur on the bottom one. And then I will adjust the opacity and blend mode until satisfied. And this part, I'm not going to say specifically what settings because it varies depending on the colors I chose and the brightness and stuff like that.
After the shading is complete, I'll change the color of the line art. To do this, you will go to the line art layer, and there should be no color or anything on this layer, just line art. Then, make a new blank layer on top of it. Clicking Alt slash Option on your keyboard, hover your mouse over the two layers, and when it looks like this, you will click, and the box should move over slightly. And what this does is it makes anything you color on that layer, it will only appear over the line art. So here, if I just were to scribble those colors, you can't see it anywhere except where the line art is. So that way you can easily color over the areas and not have to worry about getting it on anything else. Lastly, one of my favorite parts, I'll add extra details and highlights. I usually use white for this part and go over any highlighted parts, especially the hair and eyes. And I don't just add dots, sometimes I'll add little star-like shapes or hearts. And thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful or entertaining. I also hope everyone is doing okay with everything going on right now. Let me know what you think of this video or if you have any questions in the comments. Have an amazing day. Bye!